Easy people, um, nice things here. As you can see, I'm on Ableton Live. I've not used Ableton Live since I got my Akai Force. The reason why I got my Akai Force was because of Ableton Live, because I used to use it. And then when I saw this come out, I was like, whoa, let me get rid of my push. I think this might do it, this might do it, blah, blah, blah. But now, um, I've only just recently updated because like um, I've been using Nine for some time. And uh, now I've come back to this because of a few things that are probably going to impact the Akai Force that I'm like, yeah, I think I need to bring this back in. So anyway, I digress. This is back to the um, advanced thing. And what I'm going to show you is how you can get audio converted to MIDI and then converted from MIDI to a progression that you can use on the Akai Force. This is how I did it. So I went on YouTube, I was on YouTube just doodling and then I watched something and I thought, oh, that's cool. And um, this guy played some chords, what sound like this. So that was cool. Um, and I, double click, I hadn't used Ableton in such a long time, I'm gonna, I'm doing a lot of muscle memory here. I thought, yeah, that's cool. So I kept that. And then what I did is I right and clicked on that and converted it to Harmony. Ableton 10 is really, really good at getting them. Like before, 9 was like, yeah, it, was, it wasn't it was really there, but it's improved a considerable amount. That is the right way of saying it. Um, and I was going to use Scalar, but I'll have to admit, Scalar, it, it's not making it. It really isn't because uh, it's not hitting these keys. Now I've got Scalar 2. Now there's been a new Scalar what's come out 2.1, so I haven't tried that. So I have, I've got the harmonies. It did some bummy notes at the beginning because um, the guy plays a spread before he plays it in. So with that, I had this. So this is where it can all end because what you can do is you can go export MIDI clip. You do that and export as a MIDI clip and put it somewhere. And then what you do is this, you drag it in to the MPC software. So if you don't have the MPC software, well, you kind of do because there is now MPC beats and MPC beats is just a cut down version of the MPC software. Basically, all you needing to do is you go here and then you go to, and I always get this mixed up, um, it's down here, tools, and you, what you'll do is you'll convert to progression. But before we get to that stage, what I need to do is I need to get them MIDI notes in. So let me go back to Ableton. And what I would have done, like I said, if I didn't have Scalar, I would have exported that and then just drag and drop. But because I've got Scalar, what I can do is I can go in here and Scalar can detect MIDI chords, and it doesn't have a problem detecting MIDI chords, audio chords, not so much. But anyway, I digress. So what I did is I played it in here. As you can see. That's all we need. So I'm gonna stop that. So. And then all I have to do is drag that, but what you would do is just do the export. So I'll pull that to there. It's one of these scalar chords. It's that bomb one. There we go. It's just I've been messing with this. So I've got my chords there. Can I zoom? I don't know. I can't remember how you zoom in here. There you go. So let's just check that. That's doing all of them. I don't know what that thing is on there. Let's just check it's getting them all right. It's, is that all? Yep. Yeah, okay. Tools, convert to progression. Um, just before I do that as well, uh, if you've got the MIDI, uh, uh, if you've got this um, MPC beats, you can also use it to uh, export like patterns as well, somewhere on here, file, export there. So you can then convert MIDI, MIDI um, files to patterns and patterns can play in the Akai Force. So let's get back to what we're meant to be doing. So go to tools, go down, convert to progression. I've put I've put something on there so I can hear these. I, in theory, I should be able to hear them. It doesn't appear I can. Just take it for red. It's there because I've dragged and dropped it. So um, I go convert, 
to progression. Now, this is a thing why it's worth buying, and it, I think it's 40 quid. It's worth buying a scaler because it'll tell you what the scale is. Because if you don't, what it does is it makes all majors. And what I've noticed is when you play it back, certain things it tries to correct, which is brilliant about the Akai Force, but it'll try and correct it and it'll, try, it'll correct it in the wrong scale. So a certain chord won't, it'll play bummy. So this is why I would say, make sure you've got the right scale type. So I'm gonna call this, I'm gonna name it, I'll name it. Poof. Poof. And disappear. And I'll save that now, do it, blam. Um, oh yeah, I previously did one, but I'll do it again, so I'll replace it. And then all I have to do now is I just go to my progression thing. I've already got one set up. I, put, I pinned it there to make life easier for myself. So that's pinned in there. And then I've got my Akai Force progression thing is this one. One of these is one. So this is my progressions for the MPC software in the user thing. And then this is my Akai Force one. So I'm gonna just put it in users and I'll pull that across, poof and disappear. And that's it. So then the next thing after that is we'll go to the Akai Force. Okay, so we're in the Akai Force, back to it. And um, now all I have to do is go law, shift, no, and I've got progressions and there's my progression, the poof and disappear, which is in others, as I've got loads of ones where I've separated out. Um, uh, I think I've mentioned how you do that. You have to put it in the actual title, so you have to open it in a, like a word pad and just name it. Anyway, that's, I'm sure you'll figure that out if you're there anyway. So um, I've got me thing, so let's go. Let's check that out, so make sure it's right. It's in A flat, which is G sharp. Right. But it's Phrygian, which is interesting. So it's it, when I'm looking now, just as a side note, um, that's saying it's B, which is interesting. G minor, A sharp so just keep that in mind it, because it's phrygian and phrygian is a different scale the f um, the circle of fifths only works with major and minor from what i'm seeing anyway so i've got my thing here let's turn that up a bit put it in all right let's try and make something the greatest thing about this being in, in progressions is i can add arpeggio Yeah, so let's try and let's do something, put a bit of swing in there. Um, record, here we go. Okay, let's get another thing in here. What am I thinking? Um, I think a choir kind of thing. Something mellow, yeah. We'll go for this. Let's go. Ah, no, do you know what I want? I want to take that off. And I just want straight cards, so let's uh, put that down. We'll do that again. Here we go. some drums.
I want to run in this stadium and I'm out now. Okay, so hopefully that's been helpful. Um, like and subscribe, uh, drop me comments, any questions, and um, I'll catch you again. As always, peace.